Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Riders Ramblings. We're on our way to work, amazingly. It's uh, what the French call the rentre, which basically means all the French people who've been on holiday, which is most of France, no, all of France, have now returned. They came back last weekend. And a lot of the offices are open. The schools went back this morning. And... They're, they're having to wear masks in the schools. I'm not sure from what age. Year six, I think it is. But don't quote me on that one. I think it's year six. And um, they're having to respect the distances between the children and wash their hands and everything else as they uh, use the uh, facilities like the canteen and uh, playgrounds and toilets and so on. And of course the uh, really good news is that in some of the metropolitan areas not all of them but Paris is one of those metropolitan areas you have to wear a mask when outside with some very minor exceptions if you're driving a car uh, provided it's a private car and not a taxi or something like that if you're running jogging that type of thing um, if you're playing sport on a prescribed sports ground, football pitch, whatever, as long as you're keeping the right distance sensation. And if you're riding a bicycle. But not if you're riding a motorcycle. We have to wear a mask under our helmets. Yes, you heard that correctly. We are required to wear a mask, and I am wearing one, so if I'm a bit more muffled than usual, it's because I have a mask on. And it's causing some interesting misting problems with my spectacles, my glasses. So I think whoever thought of this idea... is uh, completely off his head, or her head, because they have absolutely no idea about the use of masks and glasses with a helmet. So, really, really rather stupid, but never mind. You bet, yep, I have a mask on. And... Uh, I mean, it's not I causing me any breathing difficulties. I mean, I've got no problems with wearing it. And if I didn't wear spectacles, I would have absolutely no problems whatsoever. But it's the fact that I'm wearing glasses and it's causing the glasses to steam up. So... And that's the big problem. Um, I found a position where it's okay, but the best thing I can say is I'm not actually sure if its position is considered legal does cover my nostrils but 
only just. I mean, it really is. Oh, look. Everybody outside of the schools. I have no idea why. But there they are there. So it's nice to be back on the motorbike and commuting. Though it's damn cold. It really is cold, actually. This morning, I think it was about uh, 9 or 10 degrees. Which is definitely <laughs> not good. Definitely not good. And it's only get going to get to about 20 degrees. 19 or 20 degrees this afternoon. So, uh, not impressed with the uh, with the temperatures. Definitely not impressed with the temperatures. <coughs> now, normally I don't come this way because of the lights, but I, I noticed that I was getting beaten to the lights when I came the other way, so I thought, oh, well, I'll try it. And guess what? Every single damn light is red which is uh, not very helpful. I should have gone the other way because I would have been going through there now. No problem whatsoever. Glasses are steaming up again. Don't know how to solve this problem, really. I think come winter it's going to be nearly impossible to wear a mask <coughs> and glasses and ride a motorcycle so we'll have to see nice chappy there priority ardwat letting me through mm. so I hope you had a a good holiday. We'll see what uh, mess the various government agencies have made of the traffic systems. Um, I believe that... Uh, oh, the weir! That's one of the first times I've seen the weir. There's a cormorant there as well. Because normally when I come down here the river is so high it's just coming straight over and it's just flat level. Wow. Yes, it was March the last time I came down here, I believe. Or, I think it was March. Uh, oh, no, no, I, I came down in uh, July uh, one time. Don't know why I didn't see the weir. Not to worry. But, uh, mm. Yes, over the summer holidays, usually the various government agencies go around and put in uh, new traffic calming, new speed cameras and other such idiocies just to make the driver's life not very easy. I must admit that the reason they do it in France is that the French have... Um, how uh, can I say, a sort of laissez-faire attitude to laws. Um, basically, the law doesn't apply to them unless the police stop them. And that seems to be uh, how they consider the various laws in France. So... Uh, Yes, never mind. Oh, I'll need some fuel soon. Down to about a quarter of a tank. The fuel in the tank actually cools the fuel, fuel pump. Not easy to say, fuel pump. Cools the fuel pump. So, it's a good idea not to let it get too far into the red. 
so that you keep the fuel pump cool because they're uh, I believe about 700 quid for the assembly because it's got filters and all sorts of other things in there and I'd rather not fork out for another fuel pump um, so if I can keep it cool it's better so I might just fill it up later on today I don't know there's a garage there but uh, I need to go and renew my pass my badge as they call it in French I need to renew my pass so I don't know how long that's going to take so I've given myself about 20 minutes for that um, and I don't really want to eat into that time <coughs> filling up with fuel Oops, wrong gear. I don't I haven't ridden this bike very much. Oh I have to remember that this is a speed check area, so I need to keep the speed down as we Oh, oh they've been repairing the road, getting rid of some of the the holes in the road. So, no, oh. the girls are back in business. So, doesn't look like there's any speed checks today, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. It just means it doesn't look like there's one. Well, they don't look like police vehicles today. Uh -huh. So I'll also have to need to see what's changed today and how things have changed. Anyhow, we're nearly there. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time please like subscribe share and comment below thank you well part two of rider ramblings for today they seem to have done a lot of work down here repairing the road which was definitely not in a very good condition so, I haven't done that bit there though. It's uh, interesting. It was a good thing I actually left uh, 20 minutes to get my pass, my badge, as they say, because uh, they didn't have one. So, I've been wandering about, not quite badgeless, but using last year's badge. Uh, which is a bit strange, but never mind. Seems that people are not uh, fully uh, up and running yet. And there's a lot of people entering the site, or new people entering the site, who don't have access. So. Yes, scooterists. They call those electric trottinettes in French. Those electric scooters. There are a number of people getting killed on it. On them, should I say. Is rising. Which is uh, not good, really. Never mind, it's a nice day. I might just do an exploratory ride to find a different way home that avoids the mess created by the Crétin de Crétin. Although, 
should we call it the Crétin de Joanville le Pont or the Crétin de Samour des Fosse because it seems to go from Joanville le Pont through Samour des Fosse and Crete uh, down towards um, TA. It's pronounced in French TA. In English, you'd pronounce it phase. I don't know if 87 knows what they're doing, actually. We'll see. Of course, 59 has absolutely no idea what they're doing. By the time we get to these lights, they'll have probably changed to red, especially as this car here is being a bit interesting. Everybody's just come back from holiday, and they've had God knows how long in uh, what they call confinement, um, which is quarantine. So, basically, most people have forgotten how to drive. I don't know if I can get down here, but let's have a go. Let's try this. And say, so this is an exploratory route. I've got no idea where I am, and I've never done this before. I don't even know if I was supposed to have actually um, done that. But we will see, so... This is a two-way street. Uh, I need to turn left somewhere down here, but exactly where, I don't know. This is no left turn. So... We'll see. If this is new to you, it's new to me as well, honest. Oh, I can't get straight on, so that's a waste of time. Looks like I'm going to get back to where I was. Never mind. Yes. Oh, no. We're not going back to where we were. got no idea. Let's try down here. Now I need to do a right, so I'm going to try this. And then I need to do a left. So I can't do a left here. Well, it's more interesting. I don't think it's any quicker, but it's much more interesting. Close that off. Interesting. We've missed the mess of the Crete and the Crete, but I wasn't expecting to come out here. I was expecting to come out a bit further on, but uh, quite good. Glasses are steaming up from the uh, from the mask. It's going to be terrible when the colder weather arrives. It's probably about 20 degrees outside now, 19, 20 degrees. It's clearing quite easily, but uh, I 
once it gets cold, I don't think anybody's going to be seeing out. Never mind. Mm. So, I've got a quick bite to eat, and then I shall be back. Yeah, what's going on down here? Looks like a massive marmalade. Just a bit more stickier than a jam. <laughs> Sorry. The problem here is if you actually run down the side and go to the front, then nobody can actually pull over onto the uh, into this road. Which. Uh, will be interesting. What? Root Barret? Actually, it's about time because that piece of road was terrible. I hope they're going to resurface it all. I do. So it seems it's very exploratory. This is the first time I've actually been down this piece of road here. I can't turn right. I do know where I am. There's a, an Indian restaurant just round this corner up ahead and it's uh, Sandmore Station. But that's the first time I've actually been down that actual piece of road. This will take us up to the uh, town hall, the Marie. This will. But, uh, uh, I think when the bike goes in for its next service, I'm going to have to get them to do the... Uh, the cables. So they really don't have any idea about road layout in France. And I really do think that they need to import the uh, people who designed the traffic management system in Amsterdam and most of Holland to uh, France and get them to totally redesign the French system so it actually works. This is, for want of a better word, dangerously stupid. Two words, sorry. I thought dangerously stupid. Maybe I should have said, for want of a better term. Oh well, anyhow, we're nearly home, so I'll say thank you for watching. I do actually appreciate it. Please leave any comments in the uh, section below, especially about the fact that we've now got to wear masks with a helmet. And my glasses are fogging up. And uh, keep yourself safe if you're returning to work. And we'll see you next time. Many thanks.